Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to kill a tier 2 enderman slayer solo on Iron Man. Now, what's important about this is a tier 2 enderman slayer is a really big leap in progression. People go, and honestly, a lot, a lot of people, probably more than not, kill thousands of tier 1s instead of having to try and kill a tier 2, because it just seems impossible. If you don't know what to do, it can 4-shot you, even in like Necron armor and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to do that correctly, and it's honestly pretty simple once you get it down, and you can do it on Iron Man. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spawn the boss, and what you have to have is first you have to do Tier 1 Enderman until Enderman Slayer 4, which is a few hundred Enderman Slayer. It's, a pre it's pretty annoying, but on Iron Man you can do stuff like that. And then take your final destination ammo and get at least like 800 kills on it for the defense bonus. And then you can use any chest plate. If you need more EHP, use something like a dragon chest plate. But I'm using a shadow assassin chest plate because it gives more damage. And then this is probably the most important thing. Uh, for the helmet, you need a zombie heart or crystallized heart or any other thing that doubles your healing. Because that's what's going to keep you alive here. And then you also need a mana flux. And you kind of need a wand of restoration. It doesn't have to be as good as this, but you need a, at least a wand of mending. And then you don't have to have a zombie sword, it just helps if you lag to get basically instantly back to full health. And then you will also need a Void Edge Katana, you don't need it anywhere near as maxed as mine, but just a simple one with a sharp Void Edge Katana with basic enchants will get the job done. And I have no soul flow, so this is happening without soul flow as well. So again, here's the gear. You're going to need this, a Wand of Restoration, Mana Flux Power Orb, Optionally, an ornate zombie sword, and then, of course, your Void Edge Katana. And then for a pet, while you're spawning it, you're going to need a wolf pet. Or not need, but it makes it go quite a bit faster. And then for the boss itself, you're going to need an at least an epic enderman, which are pretty cheap and they're pretty easy to obtain. Because it makes you take so much less damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to spawn this, and as soon as we spawn it here, we're going to wait for it to spawn. And then immediately place down our mana flux, and as quickly as we can, we're going to get through this hit phase, swapping to our he wand of healing, and getting a little bit of healing, and then kind of fill the boss. Life steal is going to be a pretty major factor in keeping it alive here. So just kind of life steal stuff like that. Get around two thirds or half health, you can use your wand. But it's very important to make sure you keep your mana flux placed down at all times. So kind of just keep hitting it like this. And as you can see, it's going down in health. It's already down to two thirds health. So here comes the next hit phase. Use your wand. And we just fine. Stayed above half health now. As you can see, our mana flux is almost down right now here. So we'll place another one. And again, this is without soul flow, so this is without uh, the several hundred ferocity, which means this is not going to be a third of the process if you had soul flow. Okay, so there's the mill, and you just go buy it and shift, and that takes it out. And just kind of keep trying to DPS the boss and get it through. We're now down to the third and final hit phase, which is going to go to the first two, or at least it goes that way. And then we're going to go to the fifth, which is small, just like that. And take it out. I think we're going to place our mana flux back. We just kind of have to watch these things. And there it is. We kind of got a little bit of help from that guy with his. One, but anyways, the boss was under one mil, that's close enough. <laughs> so that's how you do it. You just have to have some decent gear, you have to have decent healing, and just this basic sword, and you have to know what you're doing and not back off. If you back off, you're going to die because you will still take the same amount of damage and not get healing from lifesteal and everything like that. I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, make sure to drop me a like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for more in the future, and again, hope you enjoyed the video and hope it helped. Have a great day. Bye.